You can get it right on taxes. You can get it right on regulation. You can get it right on government spending. But if you don't get the money right, it's all for naught. The American dream is fading into myth as the prosperity of the American worker is being crushed in the vice of stagnant wages and the rising cost of living. All because of central planners at the Federal Reserve System that attempt to control the value of our money. It's time Americans took back the American dollar. It's time to fix the dollar. Trading. If we don't trade with one another, do transactions with each other, we don't get a higher standard of living we'd still be living in caves. We know in our hearts, Americans know right now that there's a problem. They know there's a problem with this country. We're watching the American dream slip away. We've become accustomed to interest rates that are so low that an American saver who's worked hard and saved all their lives can't get a return on their income. We're accustomed to mediocre high unemployment rates, kids coming out of college and living in their families' homes. That's the new norm. But that's not the American dream. In the 40 years that we have been off a gold standard, our average growth rate is less than it was the previous 180 years that we're on a gold standard. If we had maintained gold standard growth rates, do you realize the American economy today would be 50% larger than it is now? Ponder that, $8 trillion bigger life would be a lot better. President Obama says the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. He blames capitalism. The rich are getting richer and the middle class is getting squeezed and the quality of life that many of us in this room have been accustomed to is diminishing. Not because of free market capitalism but because of the failed policies of the Federal Reserve Bank that is debasing the American dollar, the very cornerstone of our economy. We have a Federal Reserve Bank that prints money out of thin air, out of nowhere. When people stop trusting money, they stop trusting each other. It undermines social cohesion, undermines the moral order. Lenin was right, not one in a million will understand it when you debauch the currency. Locke was right. He said when government arbitrarily changes to the value of money, it cheats people who have entered private contracts with each other. Some may get a gain, some may get a loss, but only everyone loses. You saw it in the housing bubble, which we never would have had if the dollar hadn't been undermined. Without control of your savings, you don't control your liberty. Without control of your money, you don't control the value of your wages and your labor. With giving control of our money to bureaucrats, we give up control of our economy and our destiny. We have the obligation, the ability, and the moral responsibility to maintain sound money that the world can trust. As Emma Lazarus' great poem on the Statue of Liberty states, let us lift our torch beside the golden door. Let's make American money once again as good as gold. Join this great effort at American Principles in Action as we fix the dollar.